<laughs> oh my god. That direct. Yeah, the Wii U's dead. Hey guys, HM Carrier once again with my thoughts on the brand new Nintendo Direct that only focused on 3DS games that happened today. Honestly, when it comes to the 3DS, I mean, like, we're nearing the end of the year, and I feel that the 3DS is nearing the end of its lifespan. I wasn't really too excited for it, but I know that Nintendo Directs always bring the thunder. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go in with low expectations because, I mean, 3DS games, cool. Um, and I went with low expectations, and I gotta say, this presentation was very solid, very entertaining. A lot of the, a lot of the titles they show, I feel they're gonna be hit or miss with everyone who watched them, but I felt that all the titles shown in the Nintendo Direct were you know, pretty good, you know, nothing that didn't look, ugh, or nothing that like, oh, move on. Even um, the independent titles, I'm like, okay, all right, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. But man, the Wii U is dead. The, like, the Wii U needs to pack it up. And the reason why I say that is because during the Direct, they confirmed that Super Mario Maker will be made for the 3DS and Yoshi's Woolly World will be made for the 3DS as well. Uh, they will have slight changes. Um, most notably, Mario Maker 3DS is going to be more of a personal experience rather than the Wii U with the, uh, the whole online uh, community and whatnot. And it's not going to have mystery mushrooms that you can use the amiibo and turn into other characters and whatnot. But Yoshi's Woolly World is going to be called Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. It'll have all the levels from uh, the Wii U version and even more levels concerning Poochie. And you can use Poochie Pups, which is which was so adorable. Man, it was, it was pretty... It was, it was pretty damn good. Other titles include uh, talking about um, Yokai Watch, Dragon Quest, uh, Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, finally, the big acknowledgement of the Legend of Zelda 30th Anniversary. We're getting new Amiibos. Uh, Skyward Sword is releasing on the Wii U, which is weird because I thought this was only, you know, a 3DS stream. But um, yes, Skyward Sword will be releasing on the eShop for Wii U. Uh, right now, it's already out. It's, I mean, it, it's out. If you want to go grab it, grab it. I'm kind of contemplating if I'm going to get it or not. I have the physical version. I have all the memory. If I were to download it from the Wii U, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to access my memory off of it because it goes straight from the Wii U, uh, cha uh, the Wii U channel, not the Wii channel. But I have the game physically, and I don't know how well it's going to be upscaled if I were to get it on Virtual Console because I heard that, yeah, when you get uh, Wii games on the Wii U, when you buy them directly, they're upscaled just like just a smidge to the point where they look a little bit better. Basically, I feel that it might look like if you were to hook up your Wii to uh, component cables instead of using composite cables, right? But uh, if that's the case, eh. Anyways, uh, yeah, we got a bunch more tiles. Pikmin for the 3DS. Sad scroll. Now, Pikmin is a peculiar, uh, peculiar title because a lot of people were like, yeah, Pikmin! And a lot of people were like, oh, why does Pikmin look like this? It's another version of Whiplash, if you know uh, Ziplash or whatever. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, Chibi Robo, a lot of people are like, eh, Chibi Robo has like a side scrolling action game with Ziplash. It doesn't really fit Chibi Robo. But the thing is, the difference between Chibi Robo and the new, uh, Pikmin game is that, uh, it feels a lot, it feels very aligned with the Pikmin. The only difference between this Pikmin game and the regular Pikmin games is that this is a 2D side scroller instead of, you know, a 3D open environment, but all of the things that we know Pikmin for seems to be present. The boss battles, throwing Pikmin, using Pikmin to help you out to get from point A to point B. So um, we just have to see more information about it. It it has a working title, it's going to release sometime 2017, we have no idea when it's going to release or whatnot, but it, it, it looks pretty good. You know, and then another thing was Mario Sports Super Pack, I, I'm pretty sure like Mario Super Sports Battle Pack or whatever the big sports game. Mario is gonna have five sports games tied into one on the 3DS, which include soccer, tennis, baseball, golf, and horseback riding. Horseback riding was like, ooh, that's like the, the black horse. Ha <laughs> ha! Get it? The dark horse, get it? Get, let me stop. Alright, so um, we have those five uh, games, and these seem like full fledged games. They even said soccer is the true 11 on 11 soccer, 12 on 12 soccer, or whatever. Uh, and Mar the tennis part is Mario Tennis. It like, it's like the full version of Mario Tennis on the thing. I'm like, wow, GG, Mario Tennis, wow. You know, like, why would you get Mario Tennis Open? Why would you get Mario Tennis Ultra Suck? I mean, like, it's there. And all this has online capabilities, local, with tournaments. Boy! That, that game, I'm like, I already know I'm gonna pick that up. 
I, man, but I miss Super Mario Strikers, but I mean, I'm a sucker for soccer games, especially with Mario. Let's go! Online capability, I am so ready. Are the games that they covered was Ever Oasis, that new Disney game that's coming out for uh, 3DS, and uh, of course Pokemon Sun and Moon where we got the confirmation for Dark Radita, like Alola form Radita, and it's dark and normal, but I'm pretty sure that might be the first dark normal type ever. Um, and also this kind of confirms that big Chinese leak, PokeTubers, Poke Enthusiasts, you kind of know what I'm talking about. So like Dark Radicate, that Chinese leak is true? Maybe? I'm not sure. We're gonna have to wait and see what developments we got with this stuff. You know, I, like, the, at the end of the day, I went in with very low expectations, and um, I watched the Direct, and it, it it didn't blow me away. It wasn't amazing. It was really good. It was really well-paced. Well the live-action skit segments were pretty funny, like Bill Trenton getting lost in Easter Island. Like, damn, like, Bill's dead. I can't believe Bill's killed. But um, all these segments all these games they like they didn't take too much time with one game they kept the flow going we have a good amount of games coming out at the end of the year going into next year uh spring of 2017 and beyond so i feel that this is a pretty solid nintendo direct especially considering that uh considering that it's the um they only tackled 3ds games so i was i was pretty that and you know i was really hyped up for that zelda segment because reggie knows how to bring that hype oh my god man i can't wait for breath of the wild but oh, I thought it was pretty good, but I want to know what you guys think about this past Nintendo Direct. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to leave a link to the Nintendo Direct in the description box below so you check it out for yourselves. And please let me know what you thought. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. And most importantly, subscribe to HMK for more Nintendo news and content. So until then, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.